What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego back with some more boxing. Now, in the last 24 hours, the internet has gone absolutely bananas. People are talking, amped up even more so about this Pacquiao Rios. Now, we know both fighters come to fight. Both fighters have an entertaining style. Um, they're going to put it all on the line. And then with the Ariza, Freddie Roach debacle that happened in Macau, China, it added additional fuel to the fire one thing i have to comment i made a video about that the whole incident after it happened um when i got back from the movies one thing i must say is you got to be a man of your word if you have nothing else just like scarface says if you have nothing else in this world at least have your balls and your word like freddie roach if you make your bad line if you say things then really stand up and be like that's what i said in the words of eminem because what you say is what you say sometimes what you mean are two different things and stand by it if you want to call people names and and that i just i hate when people act tough and then when shit gets real they want to cower down like if you look at this picture he's using the poor dude with the green jacket as a shield like you come in creating like a ruckus and starting all these problems and really trying to flex the power you really don't have in Macau, China. Macau, you don't own Macau. You've probably been there a handful of times, if that. Um, it's not the wild card gym. And he came out at Team Garcia, or Robert Garcia and Team Rios in a very disrespectful manner. So if you meet somebody with that type of vitriol, what do you expect is going to happen? Of course they're going to get mad, especially when you already had previous problems with Alex Ariza. And that's when everything just boiled over and you've seen him get kicked in the fucking chess piece. And like I said in the previous video, I'm not one for, like, you can't, you can't act any type of way you want and then revert back to a sickness or a handicap after you got people's emotions, um, like, gone in a frenzy if that makes any sense like i can't go into a, a bar and start shit with the guy and then when he's ready to fucking punch me and i'm like oh you wouldn't hit a guy with glasses i don't know i don't know where that came from because i don't wear glasses but if i did that would be an example like you can't go into a bar start shit and then when he wants to fight you be like oh you, you can't hit a guy with glasses you wouldn't do that like it doesn't work like that. So the Parkinson's, that is a very crippling disease. I feel sorry for the people who are diagnosed with Parkinson's and have to live with that. But at the same time, that doesn't give you um, a free pass to talk to people any kind of the way you want. And I firmly believe that. I feel how he approached this situation was uncalled for. So everything that transpires, it's a ripple in the pond. If I'm by a pond and I have a rock and I try to throw that rock in the pond, what does it do? It's going to create a ripple. It's going to skip. It's going to create a ripple and a ripple in the pond. So for every cause, there's an effect. For every action, there's a reaction. So in my opinion, the origin of this problem stemmed from how Freddie Roach presented it. And then to top it off, Freddie Roach is lying now after the fact when the original videos are out there. This is this is the thing people don't realize. This is 2013. This is the technological age. We have iPad Airs. We have all kinds of smart Galaxy phones and tablets. All kinds of bullshit technology. And you're not going to get away with shit. A lot of times when people get knocked out in street fights, it'll be on World Star. Or... If you say something crazy and racist, like Kramer, like nigger, or whatever he was saying, um, it's going to come out, most likely. People have cell phones and digital cameras and all kinds of stuff. It's probably going to come out. So you got to be mindful of, of that and what you say. So Freddie Roach was tripping to me. I think he did. He went overboard. Um I rewatched the video again and I was dying because I didn't really pick up under the first time. Had a few drinks in me, but I watched it again recently. Um, and Brandon Rios was on the elliptical exercising and he was like, ooh, kill him, ooh, kill him. <laughs> For all y'all that know uh, Lil Terrio, he's a internet sensation, I guess you could say, a little badass kid. Um, I thought that was funny and I didn't catch that the first time. Brandon Rios was like, ooh, kill him. Um, 
I like how Brandon Rios played it, especially for Brandon Rios um, being a real down-to-earth person, doesn't bite his tongue. He did the right thing. He stayed on the elliptical, kept exercising, and let them scrap or almost scrap and handle it um, without potentially fucking up his money. If, you, if he assaults Freddie Roach, then that would have been an even bigger problem if Brandon Roach or Brandon Roach, if Brandon Rios was the fighter or the person to do anything that could jeopardize his payday. And he doesn't want those kind of problems. Not that he's afraid of Freddie Roach. It just doesn't make sense. And he has the opportunity to make um, some cool cash, like $4 million um, by fighting Pacquiao. So he doesn't want to jeopardize that. So he did the right thing. I think Robert Garcia also did the right thing. Um, he was very cool, calm, and collected. He's like, don't disrespect me, Roach. Don't disrespect me. I just don't dig the line and trying to cover your tracks. Freddie Roach is saying he didn't say the Jew anything. He was like, I called him a Jewish kid with the camera. I'm like, no, that's not what you said. And he said he called the, the other dude a tough Mexican. Then he's saying Robert Garcia told him to go fuck himself. And then you watch these videos, the original videos, and that's not what he said. And Robert Garcia said nothing of the sort. So what the fuck is Freddie Roach even talking about? Freddie Roach honestly reminds me of Joe Pesci in one of my movies, Martin Scorsese, Robert De Niro, Joe Pesci. Hell of a film, a great film. It's called Casino. There's a scene in the desert and Joe Pesci meets Robert De Niro, hops out of the car and instantly he, he starts talking shit. And you know what? I'm going to put the link in the description. So make sure you watch that. And that's Freddie Roach in Macau, China. That's his. I asked you, when the fuck did I ask you? Get this through your head, you Jew motherfucker, you. <laughs> Where the fuck you get off talking to people about me behind my back going over my head? I asked you, when the fuck did I ever ask you if I could come out here? Get this through your head, you. you. Never... Get this through your head, you Jew motherfucker, you. You only exist out here because of me. That's the only reason. Without me, you personally, every fucking wise guy still around, I'll take a piece of your fucking Jew ass. Anyway, the link is in the description. That's Freddie Roach. Take a listen to that. Um, hilarious stuff, people. Let me know what you guys think. Who was at fault? Have you seen the Freddie Roach denial videos? Let me know. As always, hate, comment, or subscribe. Till next video, it's Ego signing off. Hey.